broken, broken silence. Broken, broken, broken. Broken, broken silence. Broken, broken, broken. Okay, here we are with another edition of Broken Silence for Kwame Shawella TV. But I don't know what camera we're doing. Camera one, two, I don't know. Um, but today we're here to talk about um, why. So there's a statement that we make as sisters sometimes, and in conversation with other sisters, we think that men don't open up or they don't talk. So. We're going to discuss why we think that. We've got some men here just to keep us moderated. Mm. I'm not talking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's going to kick it off. Okay. So, there's a stereotype, I use that word loosely, that men are emotionally not void. What's a, a lesser word than void? They can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Men are emotionally reluctant. <laughs> Better. Yeah. In... To, speak, to speak openly okay. about how they feel, feel in a certain situation yeah, emotion. or mm. whatever circumstance. So, as we have two men, what is your take on such a statement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so say for instance, like, there's a situation, because I find that with men, say like you're going through something. Mm. It's like your woman, your if you've got a, if, you're, if you have a partner or your family member or whatever, will gauge that you're going through something by your physical actions or behaviour as opposed to what you've said to them. So it's like you might just be in a mood or but you won't openly say, Do you know what, I've had this boom boom, this happened at work, I'm vexed about that, blah 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 blah. It's like you just horrible. act a certain way as opposed to speaking. So, yeah, that is the stereotype. Is that true? Why are you nodding your head? No, I'm just nodding. You know? I've got an example. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, I've got an interesting example. Okay, so, like, my example is that I avoid saying the word I feel to start a sentence with my husband. Mm-hmm. He immediately says, like, don't go by what you feel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I have to, like, try and find another word. And then, he, it, like, it, he, 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 I don't know, I don't know. That's so he, if he doesn't want me to go about what he feels, that means he's not going to be talking about what he feels. He, on, he's on a logic thing. Okay, okay. So, okay, yeah. So you're saying that more, men more go based like, on, logic, logic on a logic thing rather thing. than based on their feelings. And that's what we were discussing yesterday at the retreat. So that caused them to keep quiet as opposed to speak and just let out. Is that true? Is that true? I don't know, like when I. When I think of it, there's there's many aspects and characteristics to it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And one of them may, may be that a man, do you get what I'm saying? There's there's always a facade or there's a there's a you know what I'm saying like, mm. the, like, like to like, be strong. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's like when I was growing up and that it's like you know. Mm-hmm. To me, do you know what I mean? I, I, it wasn't said, it's not like noted down anywhere. Do you get what I'm saying? But to me, it's like, a man shouldn't really cry. You get me? Do you know what I mean? And it's Where like, that mm. that's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's just like bare macho nurse, bare testosterone, whatever they call it. Mm. Like, you know, mm. all of that's going on. It's like, yeah, if you cry, you're a wimp. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Like, it's just that there's that aspect to it as well. But, um, like, just to not go off the subject, innit? You get what I'm saying? So when it comes to expressing certain things, do you know what I mean? It, 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 it's kind of, that's in, it's, it's in the same category. It's like, like, when I look soft to my woman. You feel a sense of judgment. Yeah, and, it, and then... But is that, there's two, like, say, your woman, or is that in general, like, you could speak to, like, one of your, your man then and say, look, bro, this is how I'm feeling. Mm. Or that mm. just to your woman that mm. you feel that yeah way. do you have those type of conversations man to man that I feel so no, that, no, no, you, no, no, is that no. how you lot talk yeah yeah but it's a, it can only be with you can't do it with everyone you can't do it you can't, you, you, you can't do it with all the man you'll you, you be like you'll be like you'll you, 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 you have man G checking you you, 
you'll you be getting G checked. Every, you know, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, he's like that. Okay. This just means that same thing. It goes back to the same thing. Like a man went to like. They have a percent percent. Yeah, like, so it's like, 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 oh, he's proper. Yeah. Was it, but is that, you had that same experience then, Jack? Do you agree? I would say it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Like, really and truly, I see it, I see it like this. Say if I have a missus, man. If I'm going through something, especially in today's society, both, both people, both heads, have got a nine to five. That's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Now, I wouldn't want my wife to be going through whatever she's going through throughout the day, and then I've got loads of things on my mind. She's got to come back. She's doing extra work, whatever she's doing. She's got things she's got to think about, and then I'm just putting all that pressure on her. Okay. And it depends. If I know that I can deal with it within myself, I'm going to deal with it within myself. If I think it's something which might affect something between both of us and it's a situation where okay it's something which needs to be resolved between both of us then yeah then i'll go to my wife and, and we'll discuss things and I'll come up with a solution because at the end of the day i'm pretty sure that's what she would want she wants a solution but she also wants to vent she'll want for you to listen and take heed to what she's saying Mm -hmm. So that's more so my thing, it just depends on the situation. But mm. sometimes, like, as women, it kind of, it gives us a, um, or it helps us to build a closer relationship with our husbands when we are able to have those conversations. So it's not just one way, us always telling you how we feel. But when you tell us how you feel, mm -hmm. it kind of builds that, some like an emotional depth our relationship like a bond, like a bond. yeah, yeah. it's a, a, a deeper and stronger bond mm -hmm. and it helps us to trust you more because like you you've entrusted us with what you just told yeah, us your yeah. emotions your feelings so for us mm -hmm. we would prefer not maybe necessarily all the time but if yeah, you could open up, yeah <laughs> but if you would open up about certain things because then we can give advice and feel like a build a stronger partnership because like, okay we can help each other out we're building up each other not just it being one way because women are the more emotional, like talk about how they feel mm -hmm. type. Do you yeah. see? You said that you, you as a man speaking to another man, and you can't speak to every man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't see emotions because mm -hmm. you feel like, in a sense, you're losing like certain brownie points by mm -hmm. expressing certain emotions. But do you also feel that with your wife? Mm -hmm. So the same way how you'd express something to the man, then mm -hmm. do you feel like if you was to express that to your wife, that you'd also lose? Form of Interesting. Um, Char mentioned something, an important word, you get what I'm saying? And that word was trust. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's like, can I trust, can I trust you telling you all of this? Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's like, can I trust you though? Like, you, you sure we're not going to get into an argument or something later on about something else and then you, you bring up that, the, the, that that whole situation that I just let off to you, like you get what I'm saying. I've just I've just took all my insides out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've just I've just I, 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 I took my heart. I've done, I've, done, I've done surgical surgical surgery or whatever they call it. Yeah, I've took my heart, out, took my lungs, everything. I put it out of the table. Like, you sure, you're not gonna, you know what I mean? But 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 where is this? I think. Oh, 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 over time, yeah, over time. You you'll be able to feel whether this 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 my wife I'm able to trust her with this. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's like you got to feel out like the 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 the, the, the that you got to feel that out because it's like I mean I don't I don't think every man has a wife that you know oh, I can't trust her. You get what I'm saying? I don't think every man has a wife like that. Mm -hmm. But then if there is one yeah where you can't trust her, it's like I don't know, man. I don't I, I think men have that little core, like that little cautious, like to be cautious with that, 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 mm. that thing, yeah, I it? But, certainly mm. think it's a time thing because, mm. okay, so my relationship spans 10 years. Mm. No, it spans 10 years officially, but 18 years unofficially. Mm -hmm. So, um, that, I never got that opening up until like two years ago. Like, <laughs> when you take, when you take time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. with all the mixed messages, um, you know, that the world gives, like, 
the world tells you, or the world tells a man that he can cry, right. he should cry, right. he should um, get in touch with his emotional feelings, but actually, um, that, that's more of a characteristic of a sister, and if a, if a man's doing that, personally, I find it, I find it a bit of a pull, if a man's like, all emotional, I don't... Uh, be a bit cold. Do be a bit cold. Don't mm. lose that coldness. Mm. I bring it back sometimes just to keep the fire going. Mm. And then let, let me figure you out. Mm. Like, be a mystery. But then when I really need it, like, bring it back. Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's like the sister said, I think it's like this. You know, I think with today's society, men don't know how to be men. Mm-hmm. That's just with the upbringing. If a man's not in a household, as in a father, How's how's a young boy growing up mm-hmm. gonna know how to deal with these situations? Because mm-hmm. a child which has had a father around, he's gonna look at mommy and daddy and be like, "Okay, so this is how I'm supposed to handle. Mm-hmm. This is how I'm supposed to deal with the situation." Mm-hmm. And now the young males of today, they don't know. Mm-hmm. And that and that's mm-hmm. going back quite a while. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's a significant amount of time for our people where. That, that that has been taken away. It's coming back mm-hmm. with the lost hired. Mm-hmm. There's loads of fantastic dads out there. Mm-hmm. I saw a couple over the weekend, and I know that the men that I am around right now, I know they would be fantastic dads just because they walk in the walk. Mm-hmm. But that is a scar on mm-hmm. our people right now. It's a scar on our people. So the majority of the new relationships, they have that hurdle mm-hmm. to get over. Not, not just new relationships, but with the burden of getting to know each other's love language. Mm-hmm. I learned all this stuff on the weekend. It's great, love language. You, you know, you have to also understand how to communicate with each other, how to respect each other. The wife has to understand how to not be 50-50 because it's not 50-50 right. and be comfortable with that. And then there's the what the woman needs in a communication mm-hmm. terms from, from, from her husband. So... If if your husband is your only kind of source of fuel, and there are other sources of fuel, like you might have a professional job, you might you might have a passion, you might have talents that you put your time into, there are other sources of fuel. But for me, my relationship is a central source of fuel. So every now and again, you have to you have to kind of have that heart to heart, and it and it it. it it, it just it does does wonders. Do you think that um like a majority of us wasn't really raised with our dads and mm. and if you did know your dad mm. you knew him but didn't know him because mm. he wasn't really present in the mm. household. But do you think that as wives that's more so for you two mm. with this yeah. question because you have more experience like yeah. you've been. Yeah. No, I'm saying the same because you've been in a relationship for longer, so yeah, okay. I'm new, so I can't okay. really comment to you about that. But do you think there's something that women can do to help the man to express more? Yeah, I do, absolutely. I think a woman can be supportive mm-hmm. and understanding and patient. Mm-hmm. So if, if a man doesn't want to talk or is not ready to talk about something, don't mm-hmm. press, just wait be quiet mm-hmm. and then like one day when you're doing something random you'll say it mm-hmm. like clean like three three weeks later mm-hmm. that's what happens and then over time it has to be them that decides they want to open up and you just have to be ready to receive yeah and you can't be like oh you're not gonna you're gonna stop talking to him because he's not opening up or you know, stop talking to him because you don't feel loved mm-hmm. or you don't feel like you've got to, or he don't listen to you enough. You can't really can't really work like that. Mm-hmm. You have to kind of be patient and keep the relationship happy mm-hmm. because otherwise it won't it won't be a nice place to be. That's kind of what I feel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree, hundred percent. No. Because well if you do press them and they're not ready to talk, you end up with answers that are not they're not real mm. they're just like throw yeah surface, surface mm. throw away and then you don't get any kind of satisfaction from that you don't feel like you've gone over mm. and then you're essentially back to square one mm. so I think like you said this, have patience and remember that they're not used to that mm. especially if they haven't been brought up with their dad they're not yeah. used to that dialogue yeah so um, yeah like you said the patience and in the meantime just hold your own mm-hmm. until yeah. they become that man but also it's not a crime to express 
to them that you want them to yeah, be a bit more open. I thought they'd just like it if you were a bit more open, maybe, you know, I think they'll have a bit of, you know, yeah. depth yeah. in their relationship. Yeah, because they're not mind readers. They, mm-hmm. Unless you say what you want, how they're going to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's it. Because for me, on a, um, on a wide scale, not so much anyone that's in a relationship per se, but I feel, as a woman, I think rather that men harbour a lot. Did you just avoid saying feeling? Yeah. <laughs> I feel as much as I feel. I think that <laughs> men... <laughs> yeah, I think that men generally don't open up. And you hear, like, like in the world kind of thing, in the sense of, like... Um, statistics, figures or whatever about men that suffer with depression mm. and I think um, that has got to do with them not opening up mm. not saying that's the only reason obviously there's so many different factors but I think that's one of many reasons why a lot of men suffer with depression because they're not, they feel like they can't release what they're feeling what they're going through, whatever I understand whatever issues they're going through, I feel like they don't have an outlet or someone that they feel like they can go to and be like look I'm dealing with boom 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 and to be completely honest mm. and say, look, this is what I'm going through. Mm. Some people just feel like they can't just let it out. Mm. You understand? Mm. So it's like, why is that? Mm. And like I said, I think, I'm not to say mm. that's what it is, but that's what I feel. I like. mean, like going off my own personal experiences, yeah. Like when I look back to the times when I have opened up and, do you know what I'm saying? I let things off my chest and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Um... I've always noticed that there was it. It, it was like in specific moments, yeah, <laughs> specific situations, like, like, like specific situations or specific moments, mm-hmm. like. And then um, I can I put because I want to I want to like structure this like in a way where you can see what I'm saying because it's like say for instance, you know, we're going through some like some type of hardship. Yeah, mm-hmm. do you get what I'm saying? And it's like okay, it's reached its peak now. Mm-hmm. And then it can't go no more than that. Mm. So it's like, what are we going to do right now? We need to, you know, and then we'll sit down and we'll talk about the situation and I'll get everything <laughs> off my chest, mm. like proper. You get what I'm saying? But it's you like... Get to that point where that woman yeah, not, but it, it, doesn't, it shouldn't have to need to get to yeah, that. Right, That's what right, I'm saying. Right. It's like, why does there have to always be something like controversial going on mm. for me to sit down and, up and, and just open up to you and tell you everything. Right. Mm. Right. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I think you lot um, highlighted a different type of um, communicating, and I, I think this is an important one. So what about secrets then? Mm. What about secrets? And I uh, I kind of think that that's an important, important discussion to have. When or... or why or how do I how do I pose this question? A person will have baggage and secrets. Mm-hmm. So what degree would you feel that your husband should share secrets and and also op- op- opposite mm-hmm. like, and like what like, I don't know, I don't know what else to I'm say. I'm trying to force my habit so I think yeah, as much as you know the, the person can withstand, mm. I think it's important to, to share. But I know that well, for him, he don't like to tell me to do me none. So, mm. Mm. So, so, sometimes creating creating certain t- t- type of moments. Sometimes it's like the environment you're in, what you're doing. You know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just know that when I've done it, there was like specific moments mm, that made you that kind of forced you. Yeah, to. like so. It's like, um, and but you can't, you can't manufacture them though. No. Yeah, you can't, you can't okay, fake them. Yeah, you can't, you can't right, fake them. Can't it, them. They just have to happen. Like, like, to your point, might be impatient and just allow them to. To when they're ready to say it, they will say it. But why, and I think we should pose this to ourselves as sisters, that we have secrets, we do. Like, why would we not, what would stop us from sharing our secrets from our husbands? And what would stop a man from sharing his secrets with his wife? Is it that you think that they might 
it's detrimental. Yeah. I think um I don't know. I think if you share secrets, there's a closeness mm-hmm. that comes. Yeah, and I think there's a fear of sharing secrets that can be a barrier and a blocker to a deeper mm-hmm. and more meaningful relationship. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm right there with. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Because um, you know, when I first. Like how how I saw a relationship between two people that really really do love each other and they want to be with each other and they're going to be with each other forever. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's basically from the beginning you should kind of like let everything out. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. because you don't want you don't want yeah, you don't, up on your secret. Yeah, and it will not, uh, it's not even buck up, not, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's not even it's not even sometimes it's not even bucking up on their secret. Yeah. It's like there might be a time later on. Mm-hmm. Which is nothing wrong. Okay, you still told me, innit? you get what I'm saying? But it's like, there might be a time later, later, later on where they, 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 they're like, oh, do you know, I did this and I, I did that or I was this or I was that or this happened to me or that happened, that happened to me or you, you, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, that's how I always saw it. You get what I'm saying? When you, when you, when, you, when a man and a woman comes together, they're starting something new. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It's almost like, it's almost like baptism. It's something. It's new. You get what I'm saying. So it's like you need to all the stuff that you was doing before. You need to get it out. Do you get what I'm saying? And just let them know this is me. This is what I used to do. This is how I how I am. But now I'm with you. Now, do you get what I'm saying? It's like this is this is what we are going to start doing together. And there, and there ain't gonna be no secrets. So how did you make that transition to? from you guys being yeah. young in a relationship to making, becoming more mature and having to have that open dialogue and to communicate with each other mm-hmm. on like a deeper level. Okay, so for me, I had my husband in my ear telling me that he can see, that he can see me 10 years from now and that I'm great. Mm. So, and also he, in terms of secrets and letting them out, like they would come after a catastrophe, like mm-hmm. he said. And then it would always result in like a heart to heart and then some secrets would be said and then you get to know each other a bit more you know you know each other that much that much better and then the relationship would sort of go from there but i've held things back until because i think it's going to affect the way that he thinks about me and then there's been times where I thought I didn't tell him something and I'm still scared of telling him, but I've already told him. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes out, and he, he'll be like, I know that already. And mm-hmm. I'll be like, oh. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. But now, I'm, I mean, I had this recent situation where, like, I had a dream and um, I was really guilty about the dream. And then I, and I woke up and he was lying <laughs> next to me. I was like, babe, I had a dream. <laughs> I, just, I just blurted it out because I just felt... So, like, I don't, I don't want to have that secret from you. I want you to know everything. Mm. So now we're in a place where there's nothing, there's nothing that he doesn't know. Mm. Nothing that he doesn't know about me. Warts and all over the... Like, so you, do you think that, that takes, like, that's time? For, yeah, I feel like that's, yeah. that's, that's time. Well, I don't know. It's, mm. it's maturity. It's like jumping off a ledge. Are you in this or are you not in this? Like, mm. like why, why would you hold back? Yo, sister, sisters, uh, could, could, uh, this is like an open question, yeah. Do you, do you think it's wrong for a man, you know what I mean, to hold back some stuff? Do you think it's wrong? That's, 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 I just want to get the, the insight about that. Do you think it's wrong or do you think... Do you, I just want to understand, what, you know, what everyone's thinking. Do you think he should just, like, let everything out? I don't know. It's or... a no, I was going to say, I think that if um, it's affecting him to an, an extent where it starts to affect us mm-hmm. and what, we've, what we're trying to build, then I think it's wrong for you to hold that back. Mm-hmm. Like Shaq said something earlier about if you can deal with it by yourself, okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's not affecting us and our dynamics, then fine. Mm-hmm. But if it starts to affect how we're operating and mm-hmm. now our relationship is no longer what it used to be and it's not getting any stronger or we're dwindling or, do you know what I mean? The dynamics are off. Mm-hmm. Then I think it would be wrong for a man to hold, mm-hmm. to hold back. Mm-hmm. I think that whatever's going on should be revealed. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I do feel that a man has the right to not share some things. Mm -hmm. I do, because it's, he, it's his judgment as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, if there's something that might put me in a compromising position mm -hmm. if I did know, mm -hmm. then, I, I, you know, I would back that. Mm -hmm. like, and then there's, like, so that's, the, that's the large end of the scale. There's, like, the little end of the scale, and this is not really a secret, but frequently my husband would say, like, in more than one conversation a week, he'd be saying to someone, I haven't even told my wife this, but I hate those. Like, I can't do things if you've not told me. Yeah. And you're, like, you're telling like, everyone before me. Mm. But sometimes it's just, you know, we're having, we've got separate lives. We're mm. living separate lives. Things happen. You don't always forget to touch in about that specific mm. thing until it, it, it comes back up. It's not mm. that you're necessarily keeping it back. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but I do, I do feel like share just just get it get it off get it on the table and then move on from there and there's, there's no surprise i'm gonna say um <clears throat> it's a point because obviously gave to my brother mm -hmm. so me and him converse on a different level at times so obviously not to put your business out there but me and him sat down on a level and spoke about how he was feeling mm -hmm. about a particular situation mm -hmm. and what i was saying to him is it easier and on, on a woman level, not even back to speaking to a man then, but speaking to another woman mm -hmm. about how you're feeling and not being able to then express that same feeling yeah. to your actual woman yeah. as a man. Would I like that? Would I like that? Or how would you feel about it? Because uh, obviously, if my yeah. husband was confiding to another woman, that is like... But you know what? Do you know what? Because Pete always says something to me. He always says to me, like, I don't tell you because I rape you. No, and at not. first I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually, it's, it's because they care so much about what you think about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they think that if they were to reveal whatever it was, then it would affect how, how you look at your them. perception of them, or how you yeah. see them, or how you mm -hmm. interact with them. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to open things up. Mm -hmm. And there's a point where, where he, he would open up to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more than not, and I wouldn't know whatever they were talking about. Mm -hmm. but, my thing is okay. I'm like, I'm causing trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, is I'd rather you open, be able to open up to someone. Mm -hmm. And then we can build on, okay, why is it that you can't open up to me? Yeah, that's a what, different what's, dynamic. What's going yeah. on? Do you I mean, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If it's my sisters, then okay, that, okay, yeah, so in that sense, if it's someone that he knows, yeah. that no, you no, both know, sorry, that no, you both know. No, 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 I'd have to sanction the sister. <laughs> but, 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 but there's one thing I, there's one thing I want to say with that because so I didn't do when you, you know when, 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 when there's when there's when there's something going on here yeah, where it could be a situation you understand what I'm saying here yeah, where it's like okay if I tell this sister this year mm -hmm. she's not gonna react how so when a man's telling her, telling your wife that you get what I'm saying it's like mm -hmm. sometimes man's trying to avoid reactions okay. mm. and arguments okay. do you get what I'm saying because sometimes that's one thing sometimes I don't know because I, I, that's one thing I know about men they, sometimes we don't really like the headache, the, headache. the arguing yeah. all of that like you get what I'm saying yeah. sometimes we're short fused with yeah. that you get what I'm saying yeah. you get what I'm saying so yeah. so it's like okay I've got some stuff that I would like to tell you it's like yeah. it's not even that man don't want you to know it yeah. I want you to know this. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because it would be better you knowing it. Yes. And it's like, okay, now if if you if you receive it, you know, and and and, and don't get twisted. Like it's like at the same time, it's like if there if there's if, if there's things where you're gonna open up and say mm -hmm. that you know you you have faults mm -hmm. within it, and it's gonna expose faults yeah, yeah, yeah. or mistakes yeah, yeah, yeah. or wrongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like those type of things as well. Come into come into you know play as well where it's like oh, mm, yeah. I don't want her to know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's why you might go to someone else where it's like okay they ain't gonna react like that, mm. but I can get it off my chest yeah, yeah. and speak to and this person. Yeah. And it's like yeah. I don't know if what the right word would be therapy. Yeah, it's right. like therapy right. getting it off your chest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and hoping to find resolve yeah. within that as well. And then it should be reaching for that point where your wife is that person that mm. you go to, and your husband right, is right, that right, person. Right, right, right. Mm. Don't make that a habit. Right. You go to someone else. Right. Especially your sister. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. You build your own. Yeah. 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 I was
That was the topic you consulting with her friend about, or another woman, or another another man about. That's what we really have to break it down because it shouldn't it shouldn't have to be an issue. Mm. The guy's point of view, he's simply thinking, you know what? I love my wife. I just want to put her through something. So mm. let me try and figure it out by myself. I can't figure it out by myself. Then yo, let me see if I can seek help elsewhere. Because mm. for those who don't know, but in the scriptures it says to do counsel, to counsel before <laughs> before you make any form of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 But you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Sometimes I think like I don't know if you, this is true for you guys. Like men are, you use that. Oh, I can't talk to you because of, like like maybe fear, or because you don't want the what mm. But actually, if you have done something wrong, then I have a right to react mm. and be annoyed or be angry or or, or upset. Why are you mm. deprive me from? It? Don't use that as an excuse. Or I couldn't tell her because I didn't really want to ask her. Mm. But actually, if you have done something, then I have a right to know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, my mindset my mindset should be one of resolve. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, you did do that. I was angry for a season. Mm-hmm. Now I'm you not know, coming let's build now. Again. Mm-hmm. Relationships do go through that up, down, up, down, up, down. But you can't use the fact that you don't want the wahala mm-hmm. to as an excuse to not say what it is. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know what to say, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I can't talk to you about stuff. Do you know what I mean? Don't mm-hmm. use it as an excuse mm-hmm. to break the barrier. Let me jump mm-hmm. the back of that. I mm-hmm. feel that it's a blocker. Mm-hmm. For a sister to be to have this disposition mm. where, like, a man has to worry about her reaction. Mm. Mm. Like, you can't be that type of sister. Mm-hmm. Like, for, for if you got a husband, mm. like, you have to be ready to hear everything. Mm. Yeah. And then mm. your, your disposition has to be like one of okay, breathe, stop, don't say right. nothing. Yeah. Like, like if, if if your reaction is gonna be bad, <laughs> don't <laughs> say <laughs> nothing. Like mm-hmm. go and with that closet, <laughs> pray, <laughs> cry by yourself. <laughs> you know, and then say come back and say all right. That, that, that did affect me. Mm-hmm. You know. I just think that's I think that's 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 sometimes that's just one aspect because sometimes opening up is not like oh what I'm going to tell her is a bad thing. Sometimes it could be a good thing. Mm. Yeah, it don't always have to be bad. Yeah. It could be like, you know what? See, when I was young, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I envisioned doing this and I envisioned doing that. Like, it's, yeah, open, that's a, another form of opening up as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? In, in your communication, don't make it all, you know, like, you only open up, yeah, like you said, when it's a negative thing. Like, give mm. your wife words of affirmation, oh, babe, like, love you. Mm. Did, like, affirm her, build her up, so that when those things do come, they're a bit easier to take mm-hmm. because you do you know what I mean she's she's she feels comfortable she's trusting she, she's loving mm-hmm. so then when those mm-hmm. things do come do you know what? there's a foundation that's already built on a positivity do you know what I mean so that's just a way so mm-hmm. on the back of that something was said earlier to me and okay the husband could be doing great things for a whole entire year everything's good no arguments no nothing rare, rare, rare. and then one thing he's done and mind you You've been in a relationship for a very long time. So let's just say 10 years. In your case, almost 10 years, right? A whole year, everything's good. And there's one thing he's done that kind of throws you over the edge. Like, why did you do that? Whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then in the midst of all of that, it's like, oh, I see you remember the last time, five years ago, when you read, read, read. Mm-hmm. So now you're bringing things back <laughs> from the past that you have said you've forgiven. Mm-hmm. And I said, and when this was told to me, I said, okay, you, you forgive, but you don't forget. Mm-hmm. And it's not to say that's correct. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's correct mm-hmm. to now bring back the past mm-hmm. or things that's happened. But mm-hmm. sometimes in your fleshy manner, mm-hmm. it's, you know, things will, mm-hmm. but you, know? you know what? I think it depends on what it is. You can't say, you bought me flowers all year. And then I told you for six weeks that you need to pick up the kids on this date. And you did pick up the kids. Yeah. But I shouldn't be, I should think, oh, you bought me flowers for the whole year. I'm not to be annoyed at that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If it's an unrelated thing, if it's like you bought me flowers all year and then one week you didn't send me flowers and I'm like, why didn't you send me flowers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, that's fully unreasonable. Yeah. You yeah. can't have two totally unrelated things mm. and then, and then say you shouldn't react about that because I bought you flowers all year. Mm. I do think it's wrong to bring it. This is why you have to deal with things like, there, and then. there and then. You can't not leave, you can't not discuss them or well, leave them kind of because if, if you that's not bringing it back up then because it was never dealt with in the first place mm. so right. but if it was dealt with then 
it's it's wrong. It's it's bad behavior mm-hmm. to be throwing things in a past mm-hmm. in a person's face. It's like, would the Most High do that for us? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm we wouldn't, we wouldn't want that to, to happen. So why would we do that to our husbands? Because mm. I, I, I kind of feel like that. But then on the flip side now, it's like if I tell my husband something, I, I do have to prepare myself for his reaction. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I would uh, I would not tell him. I'd just be like, he's going to be upset about this. Mm-hmm. And I would so tell him. Mm-hmm. You yeah. brace yourself. So it wouldn't stop me from saying something. I'd just be like, I know this is going to really pee him off. Yeah. I would just tell him anyway, and then I would just be quiet while he's going through with life, while he's doing what he's doing. And then afterwards, I'd just go upstairs. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, at least, but at least, because I think it's worse, and I know my husband hates it, when he finds something out, and I didn't tell him. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I never had the end of it. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, yeah, it's just about keeping things on the healthy side mm-hmm. and, and knowing what each other wants and likes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. See, a man would appreciate that as well. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. a wife or a partner tells him things and expresses himself mm-hmm. to you, mm-hmm. because it shows that your that the woman is actually, his, my, his wife is actually like, you know what, I love you enough to tell you certain things. And the man don't think it's going unnoticed because it's definitely not. Mm. The man's looking at it and he's thinking, yo, I love the fact that she's been so real with me. Mm. I feel even closer. Mm. I think that's like, whereas obviously when a man opens up to his... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think the key thing then is communication. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we've like concluded another video like this. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 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 communication! <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, finished. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I wanted to also like touch on? Uh, the different eras of marriages. Mm-hmm. Because when you look at like our, our grandparents, probably even before them, mm-hmm. I want to say like my mom generation, I think like from that generation it just started to die down. <laughs> like yeah. it just went out the window with the whole marriage thing. Mm-hmm. Grandma and then oh, right yeah. up. Yeah. It's like they had a certain standard. So as a woman, no matter what the man done, doesn't cheated, whatever kind of communication, whatever you, whatever they've done, even down to physical abuse, mm-hmm. they stood, they stood, they stood, stood by stood their, their man. They the, was not going. No, like marriage for them meant right. It was a it was a life sentence. <laughs> the divorce wasn't even on the table. The word divorce wasn't even. You understand? It doesn't even exist. So it's like then, what happened? I think that's the error. That was the error of. But how did that the extra level of real men? Because remember, we're not, it's not that many generations. Like mm. I'm in my 30s, okay. Then my mom's generation, like I said, from that generation, mm. it fizzled out mm. with the whole marriage thing. But then my grandma, mm. you understand? And then yeah, it's, it's like, like women you run the road, women. That women female mm. mm. how they yeah. yeah. that's think oh we can do it without a man. We don't have to stand. Mm. We're independent it's, women. Yeah. 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 Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 But yeah, I think that was the era of like real men and real women. Mm-hmm. There was an era of real men and real women, and then certain certain morals. Do you get what I'm saying? Started fizzling out with like you know the new age. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, man, what, you don't need your man. You don't, you don't need your man. You can do it by yourself, girl. All that, all of that, all that, you know, all of that stuff started coming in. You know, the separation of families. Stuff like that, you get what I'm saying? All of that kind of, and that's how you know, yeah, like a man and a woman are truly, was created to be together. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's... It's preserved from that separation, it's a whole life, is it? So from the breakdown in the family, the world's in chaos. Do you know what I mean? Children are doing one madness that listen to the parents, what is birth, just the fruit of it, it's just chaos. Yeah. So we know that they should have been back together and they should have been. They're talking about the generations of old, you know, and when we're talking about our grandparents, and it don't matter what they went through, they were still solid. It don't matter what fire they went through, they're still there, you know? So watch this now. When we look at old school movies, 
Spurs more. When we look at like James Bond, when we look at just movies from back in back in like the eighties, sixties, back then the movies were never and the TV shows they were never actually show a woman saying, "Yo." I don't need my man to do that. I could do the same by myself. And it was never actually showing a man saying, Yo, I want to allow man. I could, I could go and get a next one. It was never showing it. Matter of fact, them movies were always showing it. It don't matter what you went through. You're one. It's not good for that friendship. It's straight to bed. It's not good for a friendship anymore. It's, I'm attracted to you. Yeah, and it never used to be like that before, you know, because I think that over time, yeah, things have become complacent. That's why I love the fact, yeah, that um, that I was reminded that okay, what, 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 why did you open up to your wife like that? I was like, oh, okay, we went through that madness. It's that, that, and it's like it keeps coming back to tribulation. Mm. It's like through tribulation, yeah, that's, that's when things are real. things are real. Yeah. Like it's yeah. like yeah. okay, we gonna be real. Yeah. Yeah. You have to remember, you have to remember our people in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Through through um um you know hardship, you know after they uh, they so called ab- abolished slavery and stuff like that. You know we was living in different communities with other nations and you know the man was having his battle the woman the, the um the woman was having her battle then you know probably them times they are grandparents and great grandparents they'll come home and they'll just they ain't, through all that tribulation they ain't got nothing but to be really with each other there's no space for faking pretending holding back stuff like that's why man like them times there you might even say some things where not that you know you just be real with me. Do you get know what I'm saying? But it's like, I think over time, things have become complacent. Yeah. We've got comfortable and everything's cool. It seems like it's cool. Then you're on your own thing. Yeah, it seems, it seems like everything's cool now. Like, you know. So, okay, cool. I just, I just, that's how I analysed it when we got into the, to the part about, oh, why was our grandparents and our, and going back, you know what I mean? Able to do. Yeah, but what were we, but what was the history and, and you know? You know? I think they still had the um, the representation of a, a complete home, mm-hmm. and then I think as that started to break down, then so did our moral yeah. behaviour. Mm-hmm. I mean, our moral behaviour was broken from a long time ago, but <laughs> but, but the standards, the standards you know, yeah, yeah, and I do I do think that the media is programming. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. So. I just the fact we're taking a black man out of the house, that, that mm-hmm. alone. It's all programming. Yeah. So if I'm listening to the uh, Jordan Street as I'm growing up, in my mindset, I was looking for like Casey or Jojo or Devontae. Devontae. <laughs> <laughs> and if, and if, if, if I don't have like a Devontae, like, like no, I'm, 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 that's, that's not, yeah, the, that's yeah. not the, and that was total mm-hmm. folly. Yeah. And I, I blame, <laughs> listen, I, I don't want my children yeah, watching, I, I, I don't want them listening to something, like, it's, the, don't, I don't allow it in the house, it's detrimental for their health, mm-hmm. literally, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Well, that's what it is, that's what they're promoting, mm-hmm. it's true, because when you really check it, like, all of the songs you're talking about from back in the day, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally. Like, literally, literally, literally. It's just grooming. Yeah, and that, that, that's a word I use deliberately. It's grooming young men and young women into a certain type of moral behaviour. It's mass grooming, and it shouldn't be allowed. 